Hey guys, that my gamer back here for the video guys. In my last video, we took a look at Madden 25. We played it a little bit, we looked at the squad, we talked about Madden 19 and how it compared, and you guys seem to love that video. Now I got a comment on that video saying, go ahead and do Madden 18, but in 2019. Now with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and do a series of Madden from 25 to 16, to uh, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 and of course eventually man 20 when it does come out so guys if you do enjoy this series make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button also guys if you are feeling generous and you want to help support the channel even more i do have a patreon link down below in the description if you want to go ahead and help support the channel in any way i do appreciate it a lot let's go ahead and get right into the video all right, guys, now getting into Madden 15. Now, Madden 25's auction block was completely dead. There was nothing on it, and you really could not do anything with Madden 25. I mean, yes, you could look at the team, look at the cards. Now, I was playing on 360, so I would like to go back and, you know, look at it with, you know, Xbox One's version and maybe see if it's a little bit different. But at least for the 360, you could not do crap. So let's take a look if any if any of these cards are on the block. It looks like just gold and silvers. Kind of interesting. So people still get on here and they put up golds and silvers. Now, of course, with the addition of 15, we also had now overalls that was added to the game that you can actually look at cards overall wise. This kind of looks like day one of Madden when you know there's not much cards up and it's just a crap show for uh overall you know price of cards so it looks like there's like one or two guys who's still posting stuff on uh th on the block but with 15 we also got the item binder back in 25 we just had the item reserves which was very annoying because in order to go ahead and actually do anything with any card you had to go ahead and click on it and then you had to go ahead and send it to your either your auctions or send it to your uh, pending collection and then collect it with 15 that gave us the option to be able to just click on any card you want and then go to add to set so the add to set option was really awesome in this year it really just changed the game a month not having to send a card to a collection or send a card to this that and a third the whole process a lot easier also having an item binder we can actually just see all your coaches your players whatever may be the case made everything so much easier and this is definitely something that you know i think like a lot of people appreciated from just going ahead and playing this game so right here if you went ahead and did every single team of the week this year or how they work nowadays is that if you could do all the team of the weeks for every single week you do receive a team of the year player back in madden 15 you receive the coach it's a little bit different uh this john madden coach does give you plus one speed and of course this stemmed into the set completion John Madden coach that we see nowadays in Madden 18 and 19 where you go ahead and complete a set and you receive back the same thing but differently back then how you got him so nonetheless though not really a squadron I would say on this you know team not really anything too special squad wise I think my Mutt 16 lineup is actually a lot better and you will be seeing a video about that I think tomorrow nonetheless though overall wise not the craziest team in the world but we're gonna go ahead and play a solo challenge and this is what i want to do with all these videos when we're going back and looking at these squadrons and looking at these you know the game in general is i want to go back and first off look at the solo challenges take a look at how they how they're different than the ones nowadays and also play a solo and see you know a little bit different and see how much they're different so in order to complete mutt master back in the day back in mutt 15 you had to go ahead and let me show you real fast you had to beat the solo challenge right here, and this was so difficult. <sighs> I'm playing with you guys. This was actually a pretty easy solo challenge. Nonetheless, though, this solo did give you a auction more tradable 99 overall cover vote Richard Sherman, which gave you pretty much two to three million coins if you completed it. Yes, Mutt Master cards were auction more tradable back in the day. You could get two or three million coins from completing Mutt Master back in the day from just going ahead and, you know, getting done the whole entire thing. But in order to get that done, you had to first off get done the Elite Solos, the regular season. You had to do the dual style. We'll look at the sets real fast, but I'm going this based off memory. You had to pretty much get done all of them, and then you had to get this. 
Now, anybody who knows about this knows about the struggle of this. This right here, let me explain to you. This right here, you had to go ahead and get each of these coaches from playing head-to-head. -head. Now, playing head-to-head, -head, you if you won a Super Bowl, you would get a random legacy coach. Now, it could be any legacy coach. It's not you know guaranteed a specific legacy coach. So for example, I could win eight Super Bowls, could you need eight of these, and I could win, and I could get Bill, uh, I almost call him Bill Billick. Brian Billick, eight times in a row, and I would have to go on the trade block and trade with somebody else, hoping and praying they have some of these other coaches I, have, I need, and they would actually trade with me. And I believe some of the coaches were easier to pull than others. So for example, a lot of people I believe had like the 49ers coach, and they didn't want the 49ers coach, so a crap ton of people had him. So, it was annoying. You had to win at least eight Super Bowls if you somehow had all the luck in the world to pull all eight in one go. Obviously, the chance of that, one in a billion. Nonetheless, though, you have to trade with people to get more of the coaches. Now, looking at Mutt Master's set right here, let's go ahead and take a look at what this is looking like. So, of course, we have the NFL Draft, Positional Heroes, Final Edition, Combine Warrior. We have Ultimate Team, which is just pretty much Ultimate Legends. Um, team Trophies, and that is where we had Mutt Master, I believe, right? No, 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 no. This was the Silver Master, the Ultimate Trophies, stuff like that. Never mind. Uh, we had the MVP sets, the training uh, camp. We had the regular season, the elite, the team of the week. And I think the vault was Mutt Master, I believe. Let me see. Was this Mutt Master? Vault was not Mutt Master? Just looking at all these different sets we had back in the day. Flashbacks, throwbacks, signatures. <sighs> so beautiful. All right. No, so what was Mutt Master? Oh, Master. That would actually makes a lot of sense. All right, so let's go to Master. Ultimate Master, Road Master, Dual Master, and Mutt Master. Now, in order to complete Mutt Master, you had to get all eight coaches, as I said, from completing those solo challenges. You had to put in, what is this, four, eight, ten elite badges, which back in the day you could actually buy elite badges, or you could obviously make them. Uh, total, probably just elite badges alone would cost you 700,000 coins. They went for a crap ton of coins. You had to get done the um, Mutt Masters, AFC, all the solo challenges, pretty much the elite ones, the training camp ones. And then you had to get done all those style solo challenges. In order to complete Mutt Master, which you received back a million coins and a Richard Sherman that went for around 2 to 3 million coins. So that is how you got done Mutt Master. And then Ultimate Master, you went ahead and received back 100,000 coins and a Richard Sherman and a, um, sorry, Cam Chancellor and a Byron Maxwell. So pretty much you were able to complete the Legion of Boom. And of course, this did cost a crap ton of coins too. So that was Mutt Master back in the day. It was a really, really annoying in all honesty, but it wasn't too, too bad. 4th of July promo back in the day, we do have, of course, the Cardinals legend. We have all these different legends added to the game. Um, and you just went ahead and did the sets. And then I believe this was the year... I be, if I am correct, I might be incorrect on this one. I believe this was the year... Yeah, yeah. Is it this one? Earn a pact, 80, 85 of all transfer. Yeah, this is one. So... This is how it worked in Madden 15, and it probably won't work this year, and they haven't done this since, which I really hate because I really love this idea. This was such a great idea by EA, but they just have not repeated this idea at all in any of the Madden. And that was the 4th of July Master. If you went ahead and completed this whole entire 4th of July set, which did cost a crap ton of coins, you received an 85 overall of that player in the next year's game. So you received the 85 overall of the master, which I believe was a strong safety guy. Um, I think he's over here. Let me see. Is he over here? Not, oh no, it does not look like he's over here. I, I forget his exact name, but you received an overall, 85 overall of him in the next Madden. And this is something I really wish EA would bring back for every Madden. The ability to do something in this year's game and get something in next year's game. This is why everyone loves rookie premiere cards, rookie premiere sets, because of the fact you are grinding for next year's game. You're getting a head start. And I really wish EA would do this. This is why people love loyalty sets, loyalty uh, players, everything like that. So definitely something I wish they would do. Shout out to Troy being in the game. My man Troy back in the game. 
Not this year, though, sadly. Hopefully next year. But, of course, we did have the mystery sets. This was actually, I believe, the first week of Madden. So, kind of interesting. But let's play a solo challenge real fast. Actually, let's look at the um, auction. Not auction, uh, store. Let's see what we got in the store. So, we got some packs, which I believe is just one pack. And I believe that one pack is just the premium pack. Which is not even going to show up. Okay. Okay, so it's not even going to show up. Can we even buy this anymore? Um, if we click on it, it just takes us to featured. Okay, so we cannot even buy the ultimate, the premium pack anymore. So, literally, you can do nothing with this game but play solo challenges. So, if you want to just go in this game and play some solos, that's the best you're going to be able to do. But let's go into the solo challenge. This was Mutt Master's solo challenge. They give you the 99 overall Richard Sherman for 2 to 3 million coins. Because, yes, again, you could actually... Get a two to three million coin card for doing Mutt Master. Plus a million coins for completing the set. Now the set did cost you literally probably one total time like coinage. Probably seven hundred thousand coins. Overall time plus coinage. Crap done. So you made back like two point five million. Like after taxes. On the whole entire set. So it wasn't it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Alright, let's see what fast is. Let's, I'm gonna play one drive. This is Madden 15, guys. Keep that in mind. This is this is the old, old time. We're talking about pre Madden 16. And I don't even know why I said it like that, like it's that old. It's really not. I mean twenty five I played yesterday was a lot older. And then of course we had what? We had twenty five yesterday. Oh my god, this is everyone looks so small. Why does everyone look so small? And then tomorrow we're gonna play some 16, so it's really not that big of a deal. Joe Flacco, come on, he's actually in Denver now, so let's see what we got here. So, okay, I don't even know what playbook I'm running to be honest. And every year the playbook changes just a tad bit, so it's, it's gonna be a little bit different every year. And look at that dot against the Legion of Boom. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, tomorrow, we got month 16. We'll see how great it is. Peace out, guys.